They didn't freeze. They didn't starve. They were boiled alive. Imagine a world 10,000 years ago. Endless plains of ice stretching as far as the eye can see. A herd of woolly mammoths, giants weighing over six tons, trudges through the biting wind. Their massive tusks carve paths through deep snow. Their thick, shaggy coats protect them from the brutal cold. For thousands of years, they were the undisputed kings of this frozen kingdom. Nothing could touch them. Not saber-toothed cats, not dire wolves, not even the earliest human hunters, armed with primitive spears. They were built for this world. They thrived in it. But their greatest strength became their deadliest weakness. The world began to change. Not slowly, but with terrifying speed. The great ice sheets that covered the planet started to melt. Temperatures didn't just rise, they skyrocketed. The frozen ground turned to a thick, inescapable mud. Rivers swelled into raging torrents, swallowing entire landscapes. The familiar forests of spruce and birch vanished, replaced by dense, unfamiliar wetlands. For the mammoths, it was like their entire world was flooding and sinking beneath their feet. Every step was a struggle. Finding solid ground became a life-or-death mission. But the real killer wasn't the water, it was the heat. Woolly mammoths had two layers of fur, a long, coarse outer layer and a soft, dense undercoat, all insulated by a thick layer of fat. They were living furnaces, perfectly adapted to survive temperatures of minus 50 degrees Celsius. When the climate flipped, this incredible adaptation became a death sentence. The planet was getting warmer, and the mammoths simply couldn't cool down. They were trapped inside their own bodies, slowly overheating. Every day was a battle against an invisible enemy they couldn't fight. Their internal systems began to shut down. They grew weak, disoriented. The final mammoths weren't hunted into extinction by predators. They collapsed from heat stroke. Their own bodies became their tombs. But here's the twist. While the mammoths on the mainland were dying, one tiny population survived. On a remote island in the Arctic Ocean, a group of mammoths was cut off from the rest of the world. They lived there, isolated, for another 6,000 years. They were the last of their kind, a final echo of the Ice Age. But even their fortress couldn't protect them forever. The final chapter of their story is even more tragic. The very water that surrounded their island, their last refuge, turned against them. And what finally wiped out the last mammoths on Earth was not a hunter or the climate, but a slow, creeping poison that they drank every single day.